Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, today is a new video on a new topic that is wireless technology. So uh, some time ago, uh, two years ago, I have made two videos on wireless technology, but then later due to some of the introduction of new subjects, I just uh, kept it aside. And now uh, I'm with a new series of this wireless technology. So it will be a complete series of uh, 40, 42 videos. So uh, stay tuned uh, to learn what is wireless technology from my channel so uh, let's begin so today's video is all about regarding the introduction to wireless systems so let's begin with uh, looking at the fundamental communication system so how it works so uh, basically uh, during our childhoods uh, you might be uh, have played with a uh, like paper cup might be there and then you have attached a thread or a string towards it and on the other end uh, you might be uh, attaching the same paper cup or, or of a different type and then uh, like uh, one person would be saying something and the other person would be hearing at the other end so the person who is saying uh, acts as a transmitter and the person who is receiving acts as a receiver so uh, this is the basic model of how the uh, communication system basically uh, looks like so it's a wired medium as you can see you have one string or a thread something like that so that acts as a transmission channel and then uh, when the transmitter like if a transmitter uh, loudly speaks something so it's like uh, being traveled along this uh, signal so as you can see various kind of attenuations and uh, signal disturbances signal loss uh, and even data loss happen and at the receiver he may be hearing uh, with even a less frequency or with a less volume so uh, during this transmission uh, various kind of signal uh, deteriorations and interference with other signals happen so that's due to the uh, vicinity uh, by of other signal transmitting the distraction the diffraction as well as the interference by other signals so uh, this is how the basic fundamental communication system looks like uh, next uh, you have the raw data so raw data can be in the form of a text file it can be in the form of an image or it can be in the normal speech uh, then uh, you might be transmitting and uh, during the transmission where a kind of conversion takes place so those conversions are carried out by the transmitter so it's a responsibility of the transmitter to convert it into appropriate form and so it converts into either AC or DC signals or into uh, various bits binary codes and then finally receiver gets that uh, and it has its own. Uh, conversion mechanism or a kind of decoding mechanism where it converts back to the original format whether it is in text format or image or in speech uh, next we talk about the uh, two systems like we have the wired systems and the wireless system so uh, in wired system like for example say we have two parties a and b and both are mutually connected to each other with a uh, consensus for transmitting some kind of certain signal so it's like a certain kind of uh, cable or a length should be established between that party and the other party so uh, this cable here acts as a transmission channel and over this uh, the data transfer happens and it uh, takes some kind of time now in wireless system what happens is like uh, this physical cable is uh, removed and you have some other kind of uh, systems where it would be transmitting some kind of uh, signals or some kind of waves so that waves in wireless systems are called as electromagnetic waves that is EMW so uh, with the help of EMW it acts as a transmission channel and over this you can transfer or you can put your all this text image as well as file and speech and uh, you can transfer it over the network uh, next it has got some uh, certain advantages so the very first advantage is mobility so uh, since electromagnetic waves requires no medium means it can pass through even vacuum also like if you imagine if some person is there at earth and uh, wants to communicate with the uh, person at the standing at the moon then he has to uh, lay a physical cable of such a long distance so that would be kind of super imaginary thing which you could ever imagine so in order to uh, overcome that all hassles you have this electromagnetic uh, waves which is used for transmission and it can even pass through any physical objects which are hard objects solid objects uh, next example uh, we have the mobile phones we all have the mobile phones uh, with different carriers so as we move into different base stations like uh, you may be in a home country or you may be traveling to uh, abroad so it's like you carry the same mobile phone but then uh, that elect due to the electromagnetic waves you are able to communicate with the other person at the other end 
Uh, next, it's more economical because it cut down the cost just laid by cables or wires. So the uh, cables or wires are like in a huge uh, range like optical fibers or some other physical cables which is of large bundle and sizes and so its cost just increases. Uh, as your requirement goes on so uh, that thing is just cancelled out in this wireless systems and it just completely works over by the electromagnetic waves then is the flexibility so in wired system for example if you want to add a device into the network and for example it's say connected by a ring topology that is a ring network topology then at some point of time if something goes wrong then if node fail happens then the system considerably goes down Whereas in wireless system, the devices can join easily with the help of Bluetooth or NFC or some other kind of technology. So that makes it uh, even more flexible to add and remove uh, more devices and to provide a, a good connection. Uh, next we have the convenience uh, with a button click just a button click and it's portable and compact you can uh, add more and more devices into the system so uh, that's very uh, a good point or good advantage for wireless systems uh, next although it has got advantages it has got the limitations also so the uh, first major limitation is its range since uh, you travel long distances fading uh, would be a great challenge for you and you need to install repeaters at certain locations in order to improve the strength as well as the quality of the signal so that it does not get attenuated uh, second is the speed so uh, ddr stands for the data transmission rate so i generally observe that the data transmission rate of wireless systems is very low as compared to data transmission of wired systems so uh, the data transmission with this setup uh, is much higher than this so obviously uh, some kind of data loss and fading happens you might get a, a low rate of data transfer next is a reliability factor so obstruction due to since it uh, passes through objects obstruction would be there and so the speed considerably reduces if there is a bad weather going outside in some monsoon or due to some other factors uh, the reliability of that network gets compromised and the attenuation and uh, diffraction and interference due to the other nearby vicinity signals next is the frequency planning so you need to have a proper frequency distribution laid out in order to increase your bandwidth utilization else the bandwidth which is laid out for that data transfer would get lost so well that was all regarding the fundamental communication systems and the advantages and the limitations with the, the wireless technology so hope you guys enjoyed the film about educate watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video